lab, we will verify Snell's law experimentally by determining the index of refraction of a piece of plastic. The components that we are going to be using for this lab include a helium neon laser, which is in your kit. And we're going to turn this off because it's on. Um, we'll be using a piece of plexiglass that comes from your uh, plastic uh, kit. Uh, this is the kit, by the way, that it comes from. So if you open it up, this guy comes up here. And we will need a, an index card to trace the laser beam, a protractor to measure the angle at once it has been refracted by the piece of plastic, um, I have some tape, a marker, and what I've done is I've taped a piece of tape paper to uh, a breadboard. What I've done is I've taped a piece of paper down to the breadboard and I've traced out the block that we're going to be using. Okay, so you notice I've traced the line there. And with a protractor, I've measured out two angles, one at 30 degrees and one at 60 degrees. Now when you follow the laboratory experiment uh, as um, uh, provided in the, in the laboratory manual, the, you can use multiple angles here, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50. The more angles that you have, uh, the more accurate the uh, calculation that you will have to perform for determining the index refraction will be. So what we're going to do in this lab is place the block perpendicular to the laser, turn the laser on. What I'm going to do is take my laser and I'm going to tilt it on its side so that when it's pressed up against the edge of the uh, breadboard, uh, it'll be perpendicular to the piece of plexiglass. And I'm going to turn my laser on. And what I want to do is trace this so that it strikes right along this straight line here. Okay, we want the, the beam to be parallel to this line so that when it strikes the acrylic block, uh, the angle of incidence will be perpendicular. So the laser beam comes in, strikes the block, okay, right at this point here. And what I want to do is go to the other side of the plexiglass and mark where that beam comes out. So if I trace that beam through, okay, I can see that the beam comes out on the other side here. And I'm just going to make a little indication there. Okay. Now, what I want to do next is take my laser beam and introduce the laser beam to the plexiglass block at an angle of 30 degrees. Now this takes a little bit of hand-eye coordination. We've drawn this line here at 30 degrees and what we want to have happen is we want the laser beam to strike the plexiglass block right here, okay, right at the center, uh, but we also want it to, to trace that 30 degree angle. So if we look at this, we're just, we're almost there. Let's tilt it just a little bit so that it traces the block at 30 degrees, okay? Um, and what's gonna happen now is when the light strikes this plexiglass block, or acrylic block, at an angle, uh, it's going to refract at an angle that's smaller. And what we wanna do is locate the point on the output, outside, on the other side of the block, where the light exits. And I can see a little reflection right here, which means the light is exiting right at this point here. So I'm going to mark that with my marker. Okay, and make a little point there. And I want to do the same thing at 60 degrees. So I go back and send my laser beam in at 60 degrees, which looks pretty good right about there. Okay, so we're striking that block at 60 degrees now. And I want to look and see where that beam is coming out. If I notice, it's coming out right almost at the top here. So I'm going to mark that with the marker. Once we've done that, we can turn the laser beam off, remove our block, and then with our protractor, we can just draw a line from the, in the angle of incidence The angle of refraction. Okay, we want to do that for the 30 degree line. So this is the 30. 
okay? And this one here is the 60 degree refracted line. So we have two angles. Okay, so when we come in at 30 degrees, okay, this was the line that the laser beam followed as it came in. Okay, so this would be, let's write this upside down, theta one, okay? The second one for the angle of incidence of 60 degrees is here, so this would be theta two. Okay. And once we have those angles, we can measure them with the protractor. So if I look at the protractor and try to find where that line exits, okay, protractor has to be right side up. I measure that the first refracted angle is approximately 20, about 19 degrees from the angle of incidence here. So theta one refracted is 19 degrees. For the second angle, I'm gonna rotate my protractor this way, just makes it easier to read. And starting from the normal, okay, my second beam has been refracted uh, 10, 20, 30, about 33, 34 degrees. Once we have the two refracted angles, we can apply Snell's law okay, and calculate what that index of refraction is. This is actually a very fun experiment because you can do it with a lot of different um, items. You know, we used uh, an acrylic block here, uh, but you can use a piece of glass. You can also take the water tank that's provided with the kit. And this is always uh, an interesting demonstration. Uh, you can take the water kit, the, the water block box, fill it with water, add a uh, different type of liquid or add water with a uh, little cream mixed into it and you can shine the laser beam through it and just place this on the piece of paper and it makes for a nice demonstration of, uh, of refraction. By shining a laser pointer or a laser uh, into the water tank with just a little uh, cream mixed into it so that the light scatters, you can very easily demonstrate total internal reflection, which is what we're seeing here. Notice that when the light strikes the top surface, surface of the water, it does not exit the water. Rather, it's reflected back down into the tank uh, and exits uh, the tank uh, on the outside. So this actually is, uh, students like to do this at demonstration. You can actually, when we get into the fiber optics section, you can use this to calculate the numerical aperture of the water tank, which is um, analogous to numerical aperture of, the, uh, of a fiber optic cable. Um, and it just makes for a nice light show. You can demonstrate scattering from the side, from the, from the end, and uh, it's uh, very interesting.